that's it. Hi guys, just on the uh, walk today. While I was out, I thought we'd do a little product review. Um, in South Wales, you know, how many stores have got around the country? You've got a store called What? Um, it is everything in there basically. Some of it is complete and out of junk, other stuff is pretty good. Like most bargain shops, you've got to have a look around and see, pick up your bargains. Picked up this Moza tied me over for a day. Comes a little sheath, not the greatest little thing on the back, but it's held up for about a year now. It's a cutlery kit. Comes apart, kind of like a Swiss Army type or pen knife type style. Comes apart, fold out fork, fold out spoon. You've got your corkscrew. No, 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 that side, sorry. Other side for your normal bottle openers. And the, on the spoon side, you come with a small dagger, as I call them. Dagger, Some wine, And a knife. Uh, there's a stainless steel. The knife from the board was pretty vicious to be honest. It is, I wouldn't even try sharpening that. It is, I, could, I, I have tried it a lot at the moment. Paper, no problem with that. Nice gentle strokes, slices through paper, no problem. Which is quite scary from a shop which any, any, anyone could go and buy. Um, yeah, brilliant bit of kit. We've had about a year now, as I said. <laughs> and it's got all your little tools. I've had a knife and fork, which is really what I bought it for, because it was out and I didn't have nothing with me at the time. Uh, brilliant bit of kit. Fits together. A little fiddle to put back together, but interlocks quite tight. Let me see that, guys. Quite tight fit. I can see it. Into the pouch. I think I paid 199. Big spend of me, you see. 199. Can't go wrong. Um, yeah, that's from what. Gone in and bought other stuff. Compasses. North is south. South is north. Not great to serve equipment for that. I will give them. Um, sorry about that. My son is trying to become David Bailey. I think. And then that is a cracking bit of kit. So, that's it. Okay. Is produced some char cloth. An old tin, old bandana, which I don't know more anymore, is in my garage for ages. Got a nice Can wedge of char cloth. Um, there's loads of videos out there I'll probably do on myself at some point. It is that simple as doing tin can, make a small incision on the side, fill that with a uh, cotton material, in this case was a bandana, <sighs> seal it up, check on a fire. I actually done mine on my little gas burner today to let it burn out for five minutes or so. I opened it up, it did, I had to put it back on for another two minutes or so, just quite complete, but it's a nice tin of char cloth now, take the spark quite nicely. That's that. Um, we've had uh, the gourmet meal today of our everyone's favourite noodles. <laughs> our cheapy noodles. And today's flavour was Aldi's chicken noodles. And I must admit, they were quite nice. So, you've got yourself, I think they were 19 50% of your daily allowance or calories, 11 grams of fat, 9.4 grams of saturated fat, 0.9 of sugar and 0.70 of salt. On a normal day I'd say totally unhealthy. was with the winter I 
a few years ago we got caught out in the snow and got stuck in the car, so it suffered a bit. So just want to pick up a small sh folding shovel. And to be honest, went to an army surplus that we use quite a lot. Uh, everything they had in there looked like it'd been hammered and battered. Um, just wanted something a bit quick, so I went to a little shop and bought an Amtec one. And uh, I thought, the handle, if I'm going to be using it in the snow, the handle was all metal, free my hands, even with paper gloves on, it was cold, to be honest. So I just put some paracord down there. Um, there's normal folding shovel, but you get what you pay for in some cases, and I think this was £4 odd. And nicest way of putting it, it's good for hitting someone over the head. That's about it. Yeah, that's As you'll see the angle on it, yeah. it doesn't, it's bent out of shape already. I've actually had to replace the bolt here. So does that come out? It was like um, a rivet type thing in there, and I had to replace that the first week. And I, all I literally did was take it in the garden and try digging through a planter, which is compost and nothing hard. And that came out. I replaced it with a nut and bolt. That's held up tidy now, with a nylock nut on it. But it's been out of shape. Just digging soft soil. I was yeah. literally taking the bit of turf off to do a fire on the camp, so not the greatest bit of kit. Okay for light work, but anything else? Hmm. Pouch one bad. But the, the shovel itself was poor quality, to be honest. So, that's about it for today from us. We've managed to get some char cloth. We've got some bit, a little bag of birch bark that we've collected on our wanders. A nice little bag of birch bark to dry, make sure it's all dry out now, ready. Um, myself and Cooper will be attending the 300 prepper meet in July. Um, I haven't got tickets yet, but we will be coming and look forward to meeting many. And hopefully see a few guys, a few of you guys there. So if you do see us, I will say hello. And me and Cooper will be there. And our tap, enjoying ourselves, won't we, mate? Yes. And hopefully get some good grub in us. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, as I said, my big thing is passing knowledge on to my boys and enjoying time with them. It's amazing how much time you spend. Today it's voting day, so Cooper School shut. So we've been out, what, two and a half, three hours? Yes. Done a couple of miles, passing a bit of knowledge on about different things, and he's been, yeah, I see lots of dogs about. Um, but, but every time, just a little bit more information. Today we've done a bit on pine trees and about the yep. sap. Yeah. How it can be used for medical needs and also fire lighting, etc. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's just a good day out with your kids. It doesn't have to be intense. And if he, well, if he picks up one thing every time, that's brilliant. If he doesn't, we'll pick it up next time. So, get the kids out there, pass the knowledge on and enjoy it yourselves. If you're not enjoying it, you won't want to be out there. That's JJ out. Be safe guys. That's fine.